Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually doing a PLT haul slash try on. It is my first ever time order from, from Pretty Little Thing. I uh, wanted to kind of just see what all the fuss is about. Like literally every single person here on YouTube orders from PLT and I guess I just wanted to be a sheep. <laughs> So I ordered like a fair amount of stuff, I wanted to really give it a good go. I checked the new in section and ordered a good few pieces from there. I know I ordered one thing from the Molly May collection, possibly two, I'll double check that. Um, I ordered one or two items that I think were in the sale. I actually not mentioned the prices of things while trying them on because obviously with these websites prices change so much that I've just popped in the description box below the... Um, links to each item so that you can go and check them out for yourself it might be down even further by now so yeah um i've just done it like the new style try on without pulling out each piece while sitting here so i've just went straight in to filming the try on clips i've just realized you can see everything in this mirror <laughs> so i hope you like this style of video i do want to continue to do try ons this way so yeah let's so this going. is the top with the balloon sleeves. It is actually a bodysuit, but I don't have it buttoned. I actually prefer not to button a lot of the bodysuits just because I feel like they're more comfortable when they're not buttoned. And this is the back. So it's that sort of like nudie pink sort of colour. Um, I honestly didn't think I would be that girl that wears these balloon sleeves quite often. In fact, I don't think I owned anything with this sort of sleeve up until... Christmas time uh, just there and I actually thought this trend would be gone for spring but it looks like it's sticking around we're seeing it and a lot of like t-shirts and sort of spring tops like these sort of colours so it's definitely here to stay I am now beginning to love this style of top however I don't really think that this one is my jam and um, it kind of feels like the bodysuit is the bodysuit and then this sleeve is very random like it doesn't look like it's part of the same top if you know what I mean I just I'm not not vibing this whatsoever no um I, the, the quality of this bodysuit is nice like I like the bodysuit it's just I don't think the sleeves and the top part actually like go with each other like I feel like there's something not quite right um I don't know if you guys will agree with me I actually got this skirt as well which I'm not really sure is a great outfit together but they do sort of tie in colour wise I don't know if you can see that like on the camera but the skirt has like these peachy nude tones through it and it also has this gorgeous print I think it's the jewel print or something which I know is really really in just now I don't know the prices of all these things but I'm, I will put the links in the description box below the prices change so much and I did check the new in section although I do have a couple of sale items so I'll just pop the prices below the the links below but I do know this skirt was only five pounds which I was really surprised I actually thought it was the wrong price on the skirt um I obviously can't like show you a full length body shot but you can get the gist of like how the skirt looks and I'm going to actually bring you down and show you the skirt properly and this is the little skirt a little bit closer obviously you see the full outfit which I do think that they do tie in quite nicely together um obviously that's the back it's quite short on me I would maybe size up in the skirt for comfort like it's got room in it and stuff but it's obviously very tight around my thighs and like bum area which is where I carry like most of my shape so if you are roughly my shape I'm a size 8 usually and um, then I would maybe size up I can tell you what size I bought this is a size 8 in the skirt um, I think I said I have never ordered from Pretty Little Things so I didn't know the sizing whereas with like Boohoo and Misguided etc I know like what sort of size I am there so it was just a bit of a guess and um, um, it's quite it's like that kind of jersey material it's obviously it's also like quite soft it's quite a thin material the top is a funny sort of material like I don't know how to describe the material of the top actually it's a skirt and the top together it's 
I seem flustered in this shot, it's definitely because I am. This top was an absolute mare to get on, oh my lord, but is it absolutely stunning? Yes, and it was absolutely worth it. How beautiful is this top? So I'm far away so that you can see like the full look that I've actually done. I've paired it with this little leather skirt. This is how it looks at the back, obviously I've got this strip on it. Um, I don't know how practical it is because my arm's like stuck. <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to get the thing on. So it's actually got like this under like bodysuit and then this goes on top. So your arm is under here. I was looking for like a sleeve to bring my arm out. But yeah, it just comes right out the bottom. But I mean, it is a statement top. It's absolutely stunning. I am in love with it. And like paired with this black skirt is gorgeous. A wee pair of high heels for going out and you are party ready. I love it. It was an absolute nightmare to get on, like it's obviously got the hygiene strip on it so I was trying to like not unbutton it, pull it up the way, it wouldn't come on up the way so then I had to unbutton it and like keep the hygiene thing on it and try and get it over my head without ruining my makeup, without getting the top covered in makeup, without bursting this strip, without removing the tags or the hygiene strip, I was just literally like, ah. so yeah, I mean definitely worth it, it's absolutely stunning. So perfect for night out with the girls, boyfriend, dinner, everything. I think like it's a versatile top, obviously paired with like leather pants or even like a nice pair of jeans and heels. Yeah, for sure, it's so nice. I love this statement shoulder. Like when I was younger, I used to wear so many things like this. It's really like giving me vibes. Love, love, love it. I think I've put on a wee bit of weight recently as well because this skirt was a struggle to get into. I've actually not buttoned this because it's quite tight so it's just hanging down underneath the skirt not buttoned. I don't feel like I need to button um, most of these tops like they're just uncomfortable so yeah I just don't bother but stunning. Put in closer just so that you can see the top in general so it has obviously got this sort of like bodysuit here which is actually baggy on me can't be seen because of this overlay um, and this is what I'm meaning about the sleeve so I can only lift your arm this much it's a bit strange but I don't really care I'll hold my drink with this hand um, if I was to keep it definitely undecided I love it but I'm just like hmm yeah and very difficult to get on So next I did try and put on this little bodysuit, which I did actually buy to go with the dual skirt. I thought it was more like a, of a like creamy nude rather than like a more like really brown taupey nude. Um, it is like that sort of lycra material. I'm not showing you on because I can't actually get it on. Um, it does look as if it will fit me like and it's got a good bit of stretch. It definitely would fit me. However, I can't get it on over my head. The hygiene strip is a bit like of a nightmare to take the poppers off. Um, I mean I did take the poppers off because the hygiene strip can stay on this side. But while I was trying to get it over my head without getting it covered in makeup, also without removing the hygiene strip, um, it was just causing so much hassle. And obviously with the fact that I'm struggling to get it on, I really won't be keeping the top. So I don't want to like remove the strip by accident. Also I tried to get it up. Um, up the way so that I didn't have to unbutton this but it's just so tight um, it only comes about here I can't get it up over my derriere so unfortunately this was a little bit of a fail for me um, purely for reasons of being able to get on if you're curvy like me then definitely size up so a quick side note before we move on to this top, <laughs> that's a bad angle, um, that black top was an absolute mare to get off as well as it was to get on, oh my gosh, I feel like it should have a zip, a zip would make life a whole lot easier with that top, so yeah, um, if you are one of those people who doesn't like a fuss getting things on and off then don't buy, but it's adorable. And this is this little top so I actually never thought I would suit anything like this I really pushed myself like out of my comfort zone when I was ordering this uh, pretty little thing haul because I knew they had some really stunning like going out pieces Um this I find like this actually suits me I can't really fasten it up 
properly because I'm here on my own so I've just managed to get some bits of myself it's like that corset style um, the sleeves are a little bit long this obviously means you can wear no bra um, and I totally don't mind that and I just love how high the collar is the neckline like it's actually making my like face look slimmer I think like maybe you guys will agree I don't know um so I'm just gonna come in closer again but yeah it is absolutely stunning like I think pretty little thing if you're looking for something to go out out then I think they really do nail it like these are some of the nicest out out <laughs> uh pieces that I've I've tried on like in a long time like I do feel really like glamorous and also quite elegant my boyfriend actually just came in and he said he didn't think that it was nice on the chest. I actually disagree. He said it made me look smaller than what I am. But, I mean, I like it. Uh, it is a nice little length as well. Obviously, it's cropped, but it's not too cropped. I've obviously got my skirt quite high-waisted and it sits just, like, really in a nice place. Like, yeah, obviously, you can be wearing this with leather pants, wet look jeans. Um, even, actually, maybe a nice light-coloured pair of jeans and heels might be quite nice with this yeah I feel like there's so many ways you could wear it I feel like it's such nice quality you can feel that it's well made um I've actually noticed that with like, quite a lot of the things that have came everything's like really thick material nothing's like really really shabby see-through yeah you're probably getting like I think you pay a little bit more on pretty little thing I would say anyway than like misguided and boohoo but I think you're probably paying for like that little bit of quality and I'm not sure if I actually mentioned, but I actually have bought this in a size 6. The other tops were a size 8, and I feel like they were a little bit more snug. So this is a size 6, and it fits um, really, really nicely. Like, it's a really neat little fit. So I think the sizes are a little bit inconsistent. If it was me, I would order, or I really needed something for, like, an occasion, I would order two sizes, always size small, The always, like, the size 6, size 8. Um... Next up, I actually have um, this, what do you call it, like blazer dress with obviously the one side cut out. It is part of the Molly May collection. I want to add actually that I've just heard, I watched um, Emily Philpott's video this morning. I don't know when this will go up actually, so check before you or order or whatever I'm saying, but or just check like what I'm saying. But I, she did say that um, Pretty Little Thing and Molly May are donating all the money that is made from every order of the Molly May collection to a charity following the death of Caroline Flack which is just like terribly sad so I think that's a lovely thing that they're doing and if you're ordering something from the Molly May collection then you're then you're also donating to charity so um, yeah check that out in case it has already stopped by the time this video goes live but um, in saying that I don't like this <laughs> I really did um, push myself out of my comfort zone while ordering this. I think maybe I'm the wrong height. I'm only five foot one. It doesn't fit me properly. It's really, really baggy. It's pulling here, but not pulling because I've got like I've literally got I don't know if you see that so much room in it. So I feel like this needs to be tighter in here. And this needs to be tighter and this needs to be pulled over further to make this. Yeah, you can see like if it was more fitted I think it would suit me better but at the moment it's just like hanging on me and hanging in all the wrong places and um, this is it at the back I do like like the concept of it I like the idea of it um like I like the idea of it and the concept of it something a little bit different um I don't know if I would be daring enough to wear this on a night out or out but I definitely wanted to like obviously get out my comfort zone um I feel slightly naked at this side and then completely like like um what's that word like this is more like oh I don't know what the word I'm trying what I don't actually know what I'm trying to say but yeah I just don't feel comfortable in it whatsoever um this side or this side <laughs> I know it doesn't help it doesn't fit right uh let me just check and see what size I bought for reference I bought the size 8 this is in the sale and it is actually only seven pounds. Oh my gosh, that little white top that I tried is only nine pounds. I think I'll be keeping that white top. It was really stunning. Um, right, anyway, this is how this is meant to look. So yeah, I've bought it in a size eight. It definitely does not look like that on me. I mean, it doesn't help that I've not got a tan, but... Uh... I 
guys if the lighting is changing a little bit I am losing daylight from the main window behind and I'm using my lights which obviously um, isn't ideal but this is a little uh, kind of top from the ba like obviously the basic section of Pretty Little Thing and obviously loads of people talk about the basics from PLT especially like their joggers and stuff like that so I wanted to at least include something from that section and I always like all these little tops I just like something that I can throw on with my joggers or my high waisted jeans in the summer a pair of sandals or even throwing this on top of my bikini because I'm now thick my holiday um, I think it was something like £5 it's really see through if that bothers you then just to let you know what is really see through not just in front of these lights in general it's a really thin kind of lightweight um, little top so I'll get this little knot I don't think that the knot is permanent but I don't actually want to take it out because I quite like it so if you did take it out it would be more baggy Um, it's obviously just completely plain at the back I would be worried about this shrinking because it's already quite short and if it got any shorter I really wouldn't like it so yeah I've actually just paired it up with these ripped high-waisted jeans um, obviously you could wear this with anything and then you could just, like put a nice like hoodie over the top, blazer, whatever. Um, yeah, I ordered this in a size 6. I possibly could have got away with a size 8 to be honest but obviously lessons learned. First time ordering from PLT so yeah. brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, it was kind of like a, I think it was like a half and half, half successful, half not. Would I order from Pretty Little Thing again? Yeah, probably. Like I'd, I think some of the prices are really quite affordable. The the service was really good. It came fairly fast. I've only paid a pound for the PMP because I was actually at a discount code on at that moment. Um, the quality of the tops were really something else, like they were really really nice. If I was going out for a special occasion I think I would probably go more to PLT than I would um, send you to like Boohoo or Misguided. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed filming this today so I hope you did too and I will see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah. Ciao!